YouTube. Um, yes, this uh, video is going to be of me, uh, my bleh, my first time using the Diva Cup, um, the, and any menstrual cup, actually. I'm sorry about the lighting; it's terrible. And yes, I have blonde hair. I actually bleached my hair. Well, my mom bleached my hair, but it's bleach blonde. But this lighting is terrible, so it's making it look very orange. Um, it does have some orange tinge in it, but um, it's not as orange as it appears on the camera. Um, it's getting dark outside, and I'm just limited for where I can do videos, so this is what I got. Um, yes, Diva Cup. Um, so, I can't even remember when my period started or anything, but I had a four-day period. Um, and for me, usually I have six days. Um... Six. I don't really know how to say that. My period is usually six days long, and um, it usually it's like heavy or medium flow. And this time, it was only I had one heavy day, and the other three days were light, which is really weird for me. Um, and also, it was the first time using a menstrual cup, so I have no idea if it w just seemed like that because it's not getting soaked into a pad. So I don't know about that. But um, yeah, um, the first time I used this, I, like right when I got my period, I was extremely excited to try it, and because I was waiting for at least two weeks to use it, um, yeah, so I was extremely excited, and then, but for night, I used a pad because I was a little nervous to try it for overnight, but the next night, I did use it overnight, and, um, absolutely love that, and, um, the thing I love the most about menstrual cups, just in general, is you don't feel gushes when, you know, when your period comes out. Um, that was something that I absolutely hated. Um, yeah, so I think I'm never going back. I'm going to always use menstrual cups. Um, yeah, I don't think any... Oh, okay. Well, one con would be... Um, I'm pretty sure this was causing some discomfort. I'm not 100% sure about that because I have been having some pain with, um, I guess my uterus and kind of on the sides of my uterus, usually on the right side. Not exactly sure why, but I get pain. Usually it lasts for like a week or a few days and then I'll have some time without pain and then it'll come back and stuff and it's not correlated to ovulation at all, so I know it's not that and I do know, after I had my daughter, when I was checking, like, to see when I ovulated, just because, I guess, you know, like, family planning, trying to make sure we don't get pregnant again. And that was around the time my husband got sick, so you have to wait, um, three or four months. I think the, um, doctor said, wait four months to make sure everything's good to go. Because, you know, they, all that, whatever. Um, so, yeah, and so I would check my, for my ovulation, and I would ovulate around day 18, and then I would get my period on, like, day 21, day 23, usually, so, um, it wasn't, so that's kind of what I went off of with ovulation, and, and any other times that I check, that's about around when I ovulate, cause, you know, check in cervix, sometimes I do that to see when I ovulate because of the issues of the pain. Um, I am going to be getting, or going to the doctor about that, um, on Wednesday, actually. Um, so yes. Um, this menstrual cup. I can't even remember exactly what I was saying about it, because I did try to make this video, and then I realized, oh, I didn't, uh, because it's on my phone, I didn't change the setting from photo to video, so I took a picture of myself and thought I was making a video. Yeah, that's, um, uh, I actually laughed at myself when I figured that out. Um, oh yeah, it wasn't that hard, it wasn't hard to insert at all for me, even when I did the dry run. Um, yeah, I do the punch down fold, like this. <clears throat> Fucking get my finger up. Okay, the punch down fold, um, and this is just how I put my menstrual cup in. I put it up until here, until this, um, p 
see from my here, you can see that on the camera. Yeah, right up until there. And then when I got it in, I push that open. Um, and then it just, you know, I wiggle it up a bit and then it's good to go. And I also check around the cup. Usually I can't really check where my urethra is, but um, I just check around the cup. And sometimes the cup moves as I'm trying to check it. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, it took me a few tries to figure that one out because, um, it wasn't opening up, so I had to figure something out. So, well, it was, I had to really coax it open. So, yeah, there's that. Um, it is the size two because I've had four kids. Um, yeah. I've also heard people say that sizing according to if you've had a child or not does not matter um but usually also i would have heavier cycles and stuff um yeah um what was i gonna say i do like this cup uh more than tampons though because every time i would try to put tampons in you know i would hardly ever use tampons just to know you know go swimming or something I would always have pain from putting tampons in. It, it always hurt. And this cup does not hurt me when I put it in. So that is really, really nice. Um, I haven't had troubles taking it out or anything. Um, when I take it out, I go in, I loosen, you know, push to um, release the seal. And then I pinch, or first I pull on it a bit to get it out a bit. And then I push down the cup like that, and then I try to get it out like that kind of a bit. Um, um, I actually learned that one from uh, Brie from Precious Stars Pads. Uh -huh. I watched her video uh, shortly before I got my period, and I'm thankful that I watched that because it does hurt if you don't, you know, it hurts your urethra if you don't kind of squish it like this around the urethra if you just take it out then you're gonna hurt your urethra um yeah so um the period with this first i guess the first time using this went really well um i ca can't wait to try it again and i do want to get another cup um just well because it's addicting <laughs> And I kind of want one that's a bit smaller, too. I'm thinking about trying the Maluna, or the Lunette. Um, if I try the Lunette, I want to try the Lunette size 1, because it's, you know, well, I like the little shape of it, and um, it is, you know, I could use it for lighter days. And I'm pretty sure that the silicone is about this same squishiness, I think. If I'm correct, I watched other videos, and now I can't remember, I went blank. But the Lunette si Model 2 is um, a firmer silicone than this, so I don't think I want to try something firmer than this, since I did have a, some slight pain, like, kind of like cramping-ish, and if it was caused by the Diva Cup, then um, I don't want to get something that's even firmer. But I'm also a little bit worried that if I get something that's softer than this, that I'll have issues with it. I also am not sure how strong my vagina muscles are, or my pelvic floor muscles, I should say. I don't know how strong they are. Um, I do my Kegel exercises, and after my second was born, and my midwife tried to do um, a pap smear, she actually kept trying to get uh one of those what are they called uh not spectrum what are they? those little things that they put in there and they crank open to do whatever they have to do i think it's called spectrum i am totally not sure at this point but that she tried to put one that was way too big in she came back with one oh, after a couple tries of trying to get it in she couldn't she had to come back go get a smaller one she got one that was quite a few sizes smaller even smaller than she wanted to get and um that one actually looked worked way better for me than 
this one that she thought I would have to do because I had two babies. And, um, I say that was all Kegel exercises, and I do Kegel exercises to try to, you know, keep my muscles strong. Um, so I don't know if I have strong muscles down there, but that's one reason why I don't want to get one that's too soft, because I was considering the Maluna soft one, but I'm concerned that it will be too soft. And if I'm already having troubles having this thing popping open, I highly doubt I can get a Maluna soft cup to pop open up in there without having to really... Well, I guess maybe if I did it the same way I do this one, maybe it would work, but... I don't know if I want to try that, but, um, yeah, so, I will do a review eventually, on, specifically on the Diva Cup, this was more so just trying to, you know, uh, my first time using a menstrual cup, how it went and stuff, and I'd say it went really well, and I love that there's no gushing feelings and stuff like that, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, I could feel the stem, but I like the length of the stem, and it wasn't, like, too irritating or anything. It, you, sometimes I didn't note it. I couldn't even feel it. There were other times where you kind of feel, feel it a little bit. But nothing that was really annoying or anything. So, um, I'm going to leave the stem on my cup. Because I know a lot of people like to cut them off. Also, for me, it's reassurance. Because I do get a little bit panicky when trying to get the cup. And it's like, what is it? Um, but that's just. I guess a little bit paranoia or whatever even though this can't get lost up there and I know that if you bear down you can you know it pushes the cup down and then you can easily get it out but yeah um yeah this is my review eh, or not not my review what am I talking about <laughs> okay my first time using it and I absolutely love it and yeah um from now on, I'm not going to buy too much, too many more pads. I'm going to get some more minky panty liners for, like, backup. So I can, you know, minky is nice and soft, so it's nice and comfortable. And I don't think I'll meet, need much backup for it. Um, yeah. So, or else I'm not going to really buy much more cloth pads because I really love menstrual cups now. And at first... When I first heard about menstrual cups and stuff, I didn't want to try it. I wasn't interested at all. I thought that's dumb and whatnot. But now it's like, I'm never going back. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, yeah, and have uh, yourself a good day, evening, whatever it is while you watch this.